Okay. Next cologne is Aqua de Gio by Giorgio Armani Profumo. The best cologne that was ever made. Yes. <laughs> it's subjective, of course. But I never tried this fragrance. But to individuals that I follow that have perfume channels, you might have heard of one of them. Jeremy Fragrance is one of them. And then um, I think his name is Chaos. Chaos Colognes or something like that. Both of them say Profumo is the greatest cologne that was ever made. Sad news about this guy. This guy's discontinued. So I said, you know what? Let me make a PSA to everybody out there. Y'all, this just got discontinued. So this is going to be my homage to Aqua de Gio Profumo. And also an opportunity for all of you out there to go and get you one before the market's crazy. Some of them even have new ones still, some stores. But if we're going to talk about this... We gotta talk about this. Aqua de Gio, por home et de toile. This was back when um, they actually released the EDT versions first. Now everyone's releasing an EDP version first. Aqua de Gio by Giorgio Armani, the number one. Number one. I'm gonna unbutton this. It's just awkward. There we go. The number one most purchased fragrance men's cologne of all time right here this guy and also there is no better time to be wearing aqua de Gio than right now why because this scent's been around for a while it was really super super in but now people aren't wearing it as much why because of Yves Saint Laurent and Dior Chanel have come out with such phenomenal fragrances that this guy is not dominating. But here's what I want you all to do. If you have ever worn this, if you've ever smelled it, if you've ever sampled this, if you've ever known somebody that has worn this cologne, drop a like, leave a comment, let me know when you wore it, if you're still wearing it in one version. At first, I was going to do a video with all the Aqua de Geos is impossible there's so many so this is my star studded lineup that i got right now aqua de Gio. this guy came out in 1996 i was a wee lad of two at the time um, and i wish i had this because i'd be rocking it in the crib 4.1 out of 5 with over 16,000 votes how cool is that the brainchild behind this is master perfumer his name is alberto marias and 475 perfumes in the database for this man he was born in sevilla span spain excuse me i was gonna say spania um uh, very odd to find a Spanish perfume maker. I think that's really cool. Most of them are French. And this guy has done his duty <laughs> to the fragrance world. Incredible, incredible products. He's also the brain behind CK1, which is uh, Calvin Klein. One of, as well, one of the most sought after clones out there. I've never run a cologne to the bottom. And that's how much I've used of this bottle over its life. That means I liked it. He also came out with Versace Poor Home and Versace Poor Home Dylan Blue. Very, very popular colognes as well. Also, Calvin Klein's Eternity. Um, make sure that I put that in there. Awesome guy. Awesome. And he's still coming out with new stuff. Now, if you want simplicity, Aqua de Gio's EDT is not for you. <laughs> Top notes. Lime, lemon, bergamot, 
jasmine, orange, mandarin orange, there is a difference. Not only middle notes, C notes, aqua, tezio, right? Jasmine, cologne, peach, freesia, rosemary, hyacinth, cyclone. You have to have them all because. 
because they're so different. This is no exception. Eau de Parfum was released by Alberto Marais 2022. Pretty affordable. And instead of the, what did I say, 26, 27 different notes, here you have eight top notes, C notes, green, mandarin, so you still have the citrus and the oceanic, petal notes, sage, lavender, and geranium. Now, you do not have a sage, lavender, or geranium in the 12 middle notes that the original Aqua de Gio had in. So it's a totally different makeup. Totally different makeup. And then the base notes, mineral notes, vetiver, and patchouli. When Aqua de Gio Porter Home came out, it had patchouli in it too. All colognes have always had patchouli. From the, from the beginning of time, patchouli has always been a base note, and it's an incredible one for a good reason. They've always had it, so it has a four point zero out of five, seventeen hundred votes. People don't seem to like the auto perform as much, but it's affordable, simplistic, kind of odd. It doesn't even have, unless I'm just not seeing it, I don't even know if it has a batch number on it. It's just, it's such a simplistic bottle. Simplistic can be good. Same thing, plastic cap. It's got like a false wood thing. different if you haven't sampled this and you think oh that's just aqua de Gio. it's totally different you would not smell this and go oh that's aqua de Gio. it's totally different totally different for better or worse right i'm not saying that it's a better version in fact i do agree i think it is a worse version but this is where we are there's also Many different limited edition runs of Aqua de Gio that I never, I never got. But there's two main ones that I feel like I should mention. And one of them I don't even remember the name. It is an amber color, and that's their attempt at making Aqua de Gio more accessible for fall. It has some more fall scents, winter scents. I still think you could get away with wearing these in fall and maybe even winter, especially this one, because this one's much more mature. And then, oh my gosh, I'm going to offend some people here. The Profondo. The Profondo is a blue bottle. There are some colognes, for no rhyme or reason, that disgust me. And I'm not talking about, I just don't like the smell. I'm talking about it makes me physically nauseous. And Profundo is one of those scents. And it has great reviews. I want to like it so bad. I've tried it five different times, thinking maybe this is the time. And every time, I'm like, nope, I don't like it. Nope, I don't like it. That's me. I'm not saying objectively, the scent is horrible. I wouldn't say that. But... I really despise it. So, the man of the hour. Profomo. 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 Excuse me. They came out with this thing in 2015. And it's discontinued, like I said. They came out with the Parfum. And the Parfum is close to the Profomo. But it's not anywhere near it at the same time. It's close, but nowhere near it. I truly believe these, we can take them. I agree with my 
my cologne companions. Jeremy Fragrance. Love them or hate them. <laughs> and Chaos Fragrance. I agree. This is probably the most well-rounded, complete fragrance that I've ever smelled. It's nothing short of amazing. And uh, this was one of the original tester bottles. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I like the testers. Um, it only has four notes on here, but there is an extra note that's not on the back. Profumo. C notes. Bergamot is your front. Dropped all the garbage with Profumo. We dropped the jasmine. We dropped the neroli. We dropped that orange. Who needs that orange? We dropped the lemon, the lime. Ain't no bergamot here. We dropped everything other than green mandarin, which is a much more tame version. Actually, no, excuse me, I was looking at the wrong one. We dropped the green orange. We have the bergamot. That's the only sweet note that we have. And we got C notes. Again, C notes, all of them consistent. That's the that's the aqua de geo scent that people recognize. The C notes and the middle notes. We got three things again: rosemary, sage, and geranium. Rosemary, sage, and geranium. In the original port home, you had rosemary. That's it. Other than that, we're bringing something new with Profumo. It's a, actually the Eau de Parfum has a lot more in common with it. I don't know what wrong, went wrong with the Eau de Parfum. It's just not Profumo. The base notes, incense and patchouli, incense and patchouli. It's basic. It's simple. Now, here's the thing that is truly amazing about Profumo. One spray and you can light up Mars with it. I don't care if you're standing on the other side of the planet. You can smell it from the other side. I have never seen a clone that can project like this guy does. Not only does it project it lasts forever. I spray two sprays of this. I could still smell it seven hours later. It was so in your face. I went and I took a shower. And when I came out, I still smelled like Profumo. It's unbelievable. In, a, in the best possible way. If you master the ability to know how much is enough for you. It's incredible. 4.39 out of 5 with almost 13,000 reviews. So, it actually ended up beating the poor home, the EDT, the EDP, everything. This is the best performing Aqua de Gio. This is the best performing Giorgio Armani Cologne. It's the best objectively and subjectively speaking. Why was this discontinued? I have no idea. I will never know. I will say, the people who have been rocking Aqua de Gio have been rocking the Borholm EDT since 1996. And instead of switching over to the Profumo or the EDP or the Parfum, they still wear the Borholm. I don't know why they would ever discontinue this, but this is my public service announcement. If you've ever wanted to get this, and like I said, I'm one of three people that I named. I think this is the best clone that was ever made, objectively speaking, even, even if I don't like wearing it as much as the other ones, I think this was the best cologne that was ever made. It's got the, uh, it's finally got a magnetic cap on this one, too. That's cool. The magnetic plastic. Oh, let's spray some. Oh, my gosh. It 
it's just so different. It's so different. Oh, those C notes are just right in your face. Unapologetically, these C notes are in your face. And you're right there. It's sweet that bergamot is right up in your face as well. You get that lavender, that calming effect of the lavender. Um, kind of rosemary, sage, all three of them have the ability to just calm me down right away. And then the incense and the patchouli on the end. There's just never been more of a complete clone than this guy. If you have any desire whatsoever to get Profumo, go out and get it while you still can. Probably still have to get it on the used market, but go get you one. Because this guy, once it's gone, it's gone. I'm hoping, I mean, again, I go back, there's never been a higher rated cologne. Why would you cancel this Giorgio Armani? I mean, seriously, why would you cancel this cologne? Make sure it's Profumo if you order it or go get it. Profumo. That's how it looks. There's a Profundo. It's the blue one. It's disgusting to me. It's totally different. It's not the same at all. Make sure it's the Profumo. You won't see this in stores anymore. You're going to have to go get it secondhand. If you've ever worn Profumo too, drop me a comment. Let me know when. Let me know if you still got it. Let me know what you think about it being discontinued. Thank you, everybody. This is my public service announcement. Aqua Regios. Absolutely love this brand. In my mind, and in my opinion, there's never been a better time to start rocking Aqua Regio again. People are not wearing it with the frequency they used to, and it's a wonderful scent. And I think it's going to be one of those things where you walk into a room and people are going to say, oh, I remember that. I love that scent. I think that's what you're going to be getting. So if you haven't sub, please consider doing so. I got some top 10 and some best lists, best of Amazon stuff coming out. So thank you, everybody. I hope you've got a, a great sleep. I hope you're doing wonderful in your life. I truly do. And I'll see you next time.